Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my survival island. You find me down in the mines. We're going to do a little bit of administrative housekeeping first, and then we're going to go up and finish that house that we started in the last episode, and we'll see where we go from there depending on time. I shouldn't make too many big promises, but uh, hey, let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am down here in the mines, and let me just show you a little bit about what we've got going on. I need to grab some of this. We're going to take this upstairs with us. Uh, oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's put maybe put a stack of cobble back in there, but let's just take a look at what we've got. We're going to take some redstone upstairs as well, just in case we need that. We've got a little bit more iron here, but we might need to leave some of that as well. Anything here that we need to take? Uh, dirt would be good. And then we'll just leave that stuff for now. All right. Yeah, we're going to leave that for now. Let me show you, though, that we've got a little bit extra to take here. You can see it there at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, look, I found some diamonds. And you know what we're not going to do? We're not going to harvest them. You know why? Let's take a look at this pick. There's no Fortune 3 on it. We're not doing, we're not going to waste diamonds with a regular iron pickaxe. So we're going to leave that as is. I've got a few others around here. Um, and yeah, do, yes, there, there's some? No, no, there's, there's a few others around here. I've kind of lost track of all of them. But once we get Fortune 3, then we will come back through here and take care of that. But for now, we're just going to leave them be and head upstairs and take a look at another thing, another achievement that I want to get along with you and something that is going to help me out tremendously because I've been surviving, like we've been saying, on these apples and that's getting kind of old. Are we? Oh, we got rain going on. Hopefully no lightning. Okay. Oh, one, one other thing. Uh, let's see. I had this on normal, I think, when we started. So we're, we've changed that back. Let's go into video settings. We're going to bring this down to 10. We're going to turn on the fog. There we go. Uh, there we go. No, that's still... It still doesn't... Okay, there we go. Rendering is coming in. Good. All right. So we'll eat an apple here. But let me just tell you. Last time we started that animal farm, we, we thought it was going to work. And sure enough, it doesn't work. Passive mobs do not spawn in the ocean biome. So what we're going to have to do is come over here. Let's take a look at our F3 screen. You can see in... Or you can hear... That quite annoying noise. Let's turn off. No, no. Hostile, we need to keep up. Friendly, we'll turn down. So our current biome is forest. If we go over here, it turns to beach at some point. Yeah, beach, forest, beach, forest. Okay, so what we really need to do is fill in with grass everywhere that there is forest, and then we'll see about getting some passive mob spawns. But for the time being, I think we're going to leave it as is. One of the things that I want to do along with you though, let's put cobble in here and then we'll put the redstone here and then we'll put the wood back here. Okay, so we're not doing too badly. Where's the dirt go? Hmm. Okay, we'll just we'll just put it there. One of the things that we've got plenty of is wheat, and I have not been crafting that into anything because I wanted to bring you along for the achievement. There we go. So we've got some baked bread, and now I can survive a little bit better. I've got a few more options here, and we can start turning some of that wheat, some more of that wheat into bread so that we're not just relying on apples from these trees. So long term, what we need to do is we're going to move this tree farm over to that platform since it's not going to be giving us the passive mob spawns that we were thinking. 
We're going to move that over there. I actually just cut these down, but I'm going to do that off camera, most likely, so that uh, you don't have to deal with that. You've seen people cut down trees, so we're going to leave it as it is, like that. And we'll come over here. Let's see about grabbing some of this harvestable wheat. There we go. And I'm wanting to right click on this like in modded, but we can't quite do that. We actually have to hit it and then replant. Okay, so there we go. And the next order of business, we need to check the egg chest and we are full. How about that hopper down there? Let's see. Well, it's not quite where I want it, but if we want to get some other passive mob spawns going in here, I think with this as full as it is and that hopper there, I think, you know what we can start doing? Yeah, there we go. And they are all dead. There, I still hear chickens. I still hear them. What in the world? Okay, guys, if you can explain that one, I would love to know. You know, we'll get the we'll get that guy too. Um how is it that I I don't even know. Is that just another bug in Minecraft? Speaking of bugs in Minecraft, oh man, that's that's just so weird. Okay. Anyway, speaking of bugs in Minecraft, and during the time lapse last time, I noticed something I meant to point it out when we were together after that, but I forgot. But you may have noticed that there was a slight problem with my skin as I was doing that time lapse. And I had a look into it. It turns out there is a bug when you are hosting a game on LAN that the host's skin does not show correctly. And so I showed up. Apparently, Soap the Great has the Alex skin instead of the Steve skin. I, I don't even know about that. that. That's chickens. My goodness. Okay, so how about here? We need to make sure that we get rid of all of these and then we'll take care of building that farm at a later time or attempting to build the farm. But now we've got chicken as a possibility. I hear another one. Where is it? Oh, this is going to this is going to drive me nuts. Chickens, chickens, chickens. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to the bug description in the bug dis in the description box below. How's that for a, an explanation? And that way you can see uh, maybe vote for it too to get fixed because that would be nice. It's kind of odd having that bug in the game. But um, anyway, let's see. Let's take a look at doing that. Okay. So we'll get some chicken cooking, which is pretty cool. And we've got some bread and we've got, uh, got an ink sack there, which is kind of nice. And our next order of business is to maybe get some sand going for some glass for our house. So we'll take the charcoal out of there, put that in, just make sure everything is filled back up. Plenty of charcoal there. And we'll put our, the rest of our charcoal right like so. And then we'll put that back as well. Okay, so I think we are in pretty good position there. And let's see if we can get this house kind of complete. Let's see, we'll need some cobble and maybe make some cobble stairs. I have no idea what this is gonna look like, so we'll see if we come up with something pretty neat. Okay. Uh, then maybe some oak logs and we'll get we got planks so we should be fine there maybe a little bit more of this and who knows if we need a ladder or not we'll grab some of that glass that should be good all right so we're going to go over here to our unfinished hobgoblin hut and bring some glass in just to 
maybe show show the ocean floor a bit and or not the ocean floor but the water area need some more glass than that we need what nine pieces i think so maybe we'll do another set of eight just to have some extra and not waste any of that coal so we'll get that going as well throw that in and uh, and there we go all right so we're going to extend the floor back a bit and just kind of surround surround this and while we're waiting for that the rest of that glass to come in we'll go like this and then so let's just chat so the things going on i hope your days have been good lately since we last were together it's been a little bit since i recorded um, and i hope that this video finds you finds you well so do let me know how's your day going uh, mine's been been pretty good been getting some you know been pretty busy at work lately but that can be a good thing and then also home life I'll just let you know that uh, we've got an interesting project coming up at the soap household i have started working on a fence uh, at least by the time this video comes out so one of the first things first projects that we really wanted to get in when we bought this house, if you've been with me on this channel for a little bit, you will have noted your you will have been around for the big move last year, about this time actually. I spent a bunch of time prepping the channel for that, and it ended up pretty well, uh, or at least I think so. Kind of boring for for some, as I was kind of just chatting and chatting on that particular project. It was a guardian farm on the server I was on at the time. But uh, anyway, at this point, we are building a fence that I had wanted to build for the house that we purchased. And so I've got the materials out there right now. And by the time that this video comes out to you, we should be well into that process. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty big project it's over 400 linear feet and I'm doing it myself I've done a fence before I did one at the previous house that we lived in uh, let's see we'll get some chicken oh man glorious chicken and that will help us out some let's see and I remember we need to put that away as well all right next order of business we need to uh, we need to bring this back area down a bit um, so we can have a little fishing pier that is at the ocean floor so maybe or at ocean level so maybe what we do is oh do we have an axe we don't have an axe so let's go get an axe and I'm sorry if this is kind of haphazard again the goal of this particular series is to kind of work on gameplay and commentary at the same time we can put the iron pickaxe away we'll keep the sword on us and then we'll make some more stairs how about we just turn a whole stack of planks into stairs i think that'll be good and we'll do the same thing for that for when the roof comes along glorious chicken maybe we don't keep all of it on us just in case something bad is to happen so we'll come up here and then um, one of the things here on this particular series also we don't have the light level overlay mod so i can't i can't really see if things are working and that, you know this is new to me glass can take can take these how does that work glass can take torches is that new that's that seems new to me uh, I don't know let me know when when did they add that um, so next order of business we need to maybe make a little bit of a a staircase that's not gonna help and it's also not gonna help when I don't have my axe on my hotbar uh, let's see can we bring this down no hmm 
So maybe what we need to do is get rid of this. And I'm underwater, so it's going to go slower. We need to maybe instead of a slab there, we'll do this. Just knock that out. Okay. And then we'll put regular planks in place. And then we'll do like that. And we'll come around like so. And we'll go on the bottom side of this just to give ourselves a little bit of purchase room here. No, no, no. There will be a day when I can graduate. I should be able to graduate to iron axes here soon. Oh, that's the other thing. We need to make some armor because it's probably time to get into some caving as well. And uh, I intend on bringing you along for some of those adventures. But for now, we got to get our house built. Can we get up on top of the platform? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right, so next order of business is maybe make this seem a little bit stronger. Uh, we'll come out like so, and we'll put, okay, put a torch right there, and then we'll just go down like this, and hopefully not uh, not have a problem with breathing. This is rather deep. Okay, but I've got the torch trick that I can do. Let's do that torch trick again. And then we've got a shovel, so that'll help a little bit. And then there we go. All right, so we'll go back up. And that's where one of those aqua affinity helmets would be really good. And let's come up here. We're going to do the same thing and we're out a little bit further. And hopefully I have enough of these logs to get all the way to the bottom. And why do you do this? Well, this is just for realism's sake. I know I don't have to, but I just like to. So don't, uh, don't begrudge me too much for doing this. It's just something I've always done. I want to carry the pier all the way down. And I realize that I misplaced that one. So let's take that. And then what we'll do is go on up. All right. We'll go back up and maybe make a little fence or something up here. And we'll see how that goes. Maybe another another batch of logs right here. Yeah. yeah. And then same thing. Pick up Oh, pick up some items that we dropped. How about that? Okay. And then we'll dig out that sand like so. And you know, that's something that uh, you, you tell me when you're building on, when you, in particular you, when you are building in water, do you bother with that particular uh, detail right there? Let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. And over here, we're going to do what? one more. Was it that side? Yeah. Okay. And that may not be enough logs to take care of this side because we are right on the edge of the island and we're going into a deep ocean. Ooh, iron. Good. So we'll grab that. Iron is good. Very useful. And again, torch trick. I could use a bucket as well, but I don't have a bucket. I think we're going to have just enough in terms of the logs here for this particular piece. And we should, we should be good to go on our pier real quick. All right. So one more air bubble there and we'll get up onto the dock and kind of clean things up here. Let's get up here. Oh, oh, come on. All right. So do that and this and this and then what do we do here what what should we do how is this gonna look um, 
maybe maybe we leave this side open right here and just enclose enclose this let's see maybe uh, we are on a bottom slab right here what if we did a, something like this a little bit of detail there's only so much you can do when you're working with only oak planks we don't have any other wood types available to us because we're not going out in search of anything because we we're not food secure it's something that uh, you know we we tend to take for granted at least in most of the western societies food security is not that big of of a concept because we you know we've got our food fairly easy to access so let me know have you ever thought about where your food comes from do you ever worry about it uh, is that something that you in particular have to deal with um, if it is i am uh, i am sorry about that um so but uh a lot of people around the world do work have to worry about that and i know this is just a a small taste of it we can't go out and do the fun things like exploring because we're not food secure and, uh, and that's something that a lot of people around the world have to deal with so put us in similar a little bit of a similar mindset there but perhaps I'm waxing too philosophical let's clean that out same thing I want to give an idea of strength there so our pier is going to be on the oak logs and then oh this one this will be a little bit different we're going into the ocean again one more can we do that oh that's going to be well we got plenty of cobble can we can we actually place it again this is probably overkill and i'm going to have problem there okay let's get this i keep hearing some flowing water as well so that implies to me that perhaps there is a space around here somewhere or maybe it's just where i've dug out these these blocks let's grab this iron iron is a precious resource okay we don't want to run into issues with breathing so let's just grab this as well I'll grab that iron okay and then let's head on back oh yeah we got one more let's do that and then we'll take out this piece of misplaced cobble okay we'll head back up to the surface and we'll see what else we can get into right here all right so we've got the general structure kind of complete hopefully and then maybe back here oh i ran out of logs so let's go grab those and since i have a little bit better food or food sources here we got some chicken and some bread i can start sprinting getting around here a little bit faster so maybe right there like that and then we'll come around with some more of these. We can't just spam glass everywhere because we don't have that much available. So, so maybe we'll do like that. And for the time being, we'll need to put a torch there. Keep, keep nasties from spawning. And then up top, this is why I brought in the cobblestone. And what do we do? Yeah, so maybe, maybe we'll do something like this. Okay, I'm not getting any sounds from, from placing on, okay, so let's see, place, and then nothing. Okay, so that's another bug. Interesting. I wonder if that's been reported that's so weird okay so in some cases I get the placing placing block sound but in some cases I don't 
Very weird, very weird. All right, so what we're gonna do, just come across like this. We're not gonna connect these. Um, we'll see how that looks when we're back to that particular location. Oh, and that's the other thing. Let's get rid of the torches from the secondary slot so that I don't keep having that issue. And then I take a look at our recording time. We've been going for over 20 minutes. So it is probably time to call this episode. Let me, uh, you know, I've, I've hesitated doing this, but I think we probably need to uh, to do it at this point. We are going to make a little jump cut. I'm going to finish off the roof and then I'll bring you back and show you what we've got and then that's going to be the end of today's episode. All right. Well, I figured I'd bring you back because we've got a little something something going on here. Okay, so I put a stone roof on it and that is primarily because we are building with all wood. We don't have a way to skip night and skip storms because we don't have a bed. So if we have storms come in with lightning, we could have this thing set get set on fire. So a stone roof is going to help keep that from happening. And uh, you know, we're not breaking any, any major boundaries in terms of building because we don't have that many options available and I am not doing this off camera in my creative testing world. This is just on the fly. So that's what we've got. We've got a little bit of a house situation going. I'll probably be moving that stuff into here uh, between now and the next time we are together just to get it off of there. And because the chickens are now gone, what we can do is see about filling in with some dirt over here and see if we can get some spawns other than uh, well, since we are in the forest, we probably should be able to get cows and pigs and sheep. So we'll see about that. But for now, I think we're pretty much done. So we're going to say that's it for the Hobgoblin Hut inspired house. And that's it for this episode three of my survival island. Next time, uh, let's see, I am going to take care of some stuff off camera. So we'll, we'll take care of all that. But if we don't get any sheep going, then we need to get a mob farm going. So we're going to see about building, uh, potentially building a mob farm. So join me in episode four with that. And if you have any suggestions for things you'd like to see, let me know. I'd love to hear it. But if you've enjoyed it today, and hopefully you have, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. But that's going to be it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your time with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.